Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Amy Anna. Thanks for joining me today. This is basically a little channel update because as you guys know, I had to leave Ukraine because of the war. It's now April 2022 and I was and still am <laughs> a fourth year medical student at Dnipro Medical Institute. But we've left and therefore our channel content has changed a little bit and it hasn't been very regular either. Bruh. And there's quite a few reasons behind this. As my my dear loyal subscribers I just wanted to update you guys because I thought you know what you guys deserve to know I share my life so why not share this with you and hopefully give you guys some advice and uh, tips direction for current medical students still in the same position as me or maybe aspiring students wanting to study abroad as well. So today we're just gonna have a little update about my lovely life. Ignore the nails because you know, they're getting done tonight. They're literally getting done tonight. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, before we start this lovely update, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Please, please, please. We normally vlog our medicine journey abroad, but if you're new here, have a look at the old videos. They're really good. And hopefully we're gonna continue that. But ongoing, we're just gonna give you an update. and tell you about my life because I, I, I think it's quite interesting. So stay tuned guys, let's go. Welcome back guys, it feels nice to be back talking to you. I do feel bad for not vlogging so often, but my mind has literally been It's cliche, but it has actually been like a roller coaster of emotions these past two months. Yeah. You guys know me as a positive, bright, and always optimistic person with everything I do. And that's because literally throughout my time living in Ukraine, even before that, when I was stuck in the Bahamas during the COVID pandemic, I've been through everything and I've always been so bright and positive. Never felt more depressed in my life due to this whole Ukraine thing. And it's literally been so, so hard. And I know people say it must be hard or they say, you know, you must be happy to be back with your family, happy to be safe. And that is literally the total opposite to the way I have felt because it's not been happy at all. It's been heartbreaking. The whole time it hasn't got better. It's literally taken me probably a month to get back on my feet. And this month has just literally been about kind of trying to focus on myself. It's literally, it's been crazy. I don't think you can relate to it unless you've been through it guys. And I know people will try to relate, but you really, you really can't. And that basically is the main reason why I haven't been posting lately and also why I haven't moved on as most students have, as in transferred or decided what to do next in their life. Because I haven't moved on, because I can't, because I've got this such a strong connection with my life in Ukraine that I, it's been so hard to let go of. You have to understand guys that it was more of a way of life for me as well, living in Ukraine. For some people just studying online, never been to Ukraine, they can easily transfer just like that. But for me, it was a real life. So enough about my mental health and like my depression and everything. Uh. <laughs> Let's talk about transferring because I know a lot of people do want to transfer. Transferring right now from a Ukrainian medical university to another, university in Europe is a very, very great area to transfer into whatever year you are, you are in. There is a lot of corruption. There is a lot of false promises. You know my lips have been so dry recently. What? what have I been doing? Online classes at Dnipro Medical Institute have continued amazingly. After, I think, two weeks of the war, teachers got together, organized an online platform completely on Microsoft Teams, and we've been continuing all our online studies like normal, kind of. The only thing that is a bit different is sometimes the teacher does go, okay, the Wi-Fi is gonna cut out, the air raid siren is going off, nothing can stop university in Ukraine. So I've just been continuing. I haven't considered transferring because like I said, there is a lot of corruption at the moment. You have to be very careful about transferring and that is because for English students especially, it's the GMC. The GMC looks upon transfers and says, okay, why did you transfer? Okay, the war is a big reason, but we don't actually technically know if they're gonna be like, okay, the war is a good reason why you transferred. I don't, you don't know technically if they're gonna accept that as a valid reason. Things could change, things could change. Secondly, transferring to Georgia, oh my God. I think you're forgetting about the history of Georgia. Russia did invade Georgia. So if 
for whatever reason, things do escalate even further. Nobody can literally predict the future right now. I wouldn't want to be in Georgia. <laughs> Lots of students still talking about this new vision university in Georgia as well to me. Please check the GMC website. It is on the GMC May accept list, which basically means it's very, very close to being blacklisted and you should not go for it. So yeah, don't transfer, stick with your Ukrainian university if you can. Or, or, as a UK student, I would say reapply to English medical school or wherever you are, reapply to your home country medical school because this is the only actual safe option. Studying abroad already has its complexities, okay? Adding this war and a transfer in, Bam, it makes everything very, very complex, okay? So the amount of time that you spend on transferring fees, moving to another country, this kind of thing will take the time and money that would take you to reapply to medical school in your own country. Okay, not gonna blah, blah, blah on for too long, guys, because guess what? I'm not a professional. This is just my opinion from taking a back seat and watching events unfold. This is what I recommend you doing. It is your own decision. Take into all factors and make a good decision, guys. I'm happy to do further YouTube videos on this. If you guys think this would be useful to you, I can go into more details about how I make these overall decisions I might do that actually yeah but more about my life oh my gosh <laughs> no just a little bit yes of course I would have that little depression for two weeks and I was like eh, eh, eh. and then I went traveling as you can see by my latest vlog I've also got another few vlogs coming out because I have been traveling even more and that is what I've been doing because I, I love traveling and it's a great way to kind of distract yourself from the whole situation I say traveling and I emphasize on traveling because a lot of people say okay you're going off on holiday it hasn't been all inclusive sunbathing all day. No, I've actually been continuing all my online studies. I take my laptop everywhere I go and my Bluetooth headphones everywhere. I've completed online learning literally in so many places because online learning is flexible like that. So I've been traveling and doing online learning. Also, I've been in contact with all my teachers and that's because I am what they call an Ukrainian group leader. That means I'm in contact with all my teachers, arranging all the different classes, arranging the timetable effectively to ensure that all of my group can close all the subjects required of fourth year which has been crazy <laughs> and also a big responsibility because I've been responsible for my whole group completing fourth year and I think I did a pretty good job if any of my group are watching so thanks for that. It's basically been traveling, studying and being a group leader all at the same time so fun times and yeah fourth year is basically nearly complete very very soon I will be done with fourth year and it means well I can just get on with traveling and uh, everything <laughs> you're gonna see on my channel because I promise I will keep it more updated I'm gonna try anyway I could ramble on but I will make some more videos instead Bruh. because then I won't ramble on for ages in these videos. Bruh. I would just like to say thank you to all my friends and family that have supported me throughout this time. My family has been very good, like giving me space, just supporting me and having a few positive friends around me. Having the right positivity around you, surrounding yourself with the right people is definitely a big factor when it comes to depression. I really I'm grateful for having the support network that I have around me. It's just been very hard, guys. I have been very, very emotional. Anyway, let's not cry, okay? We will be back very, very soon. If you have any things that you would like me to discuss in any more detail or any video ideas you have for me, leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Messy Buku. And our new vlog will be out very soon, our next travel vlog. But now, guys, I will see you maybe on Instagram at Amyana Army or TikTok at Amyana Army. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you on the other side.